12 hours, yet non-addictive and gentle on the body. Salon Paws, it's good medicine. He sent me to... Tums versus Mozzarella Stick! When heartburn hits, fight back fast with Tums Chewy Bites. Beat heartburn fast. Tums Chewy Bites. Next week on the CBS Evening News, the historic launch of the first manned space flight from U.S. soil in nearly a decade. The SpaceX rocket was test fired a short time ago. And if you can't watch us live, don't forget to set your DVR so you can watch us later. That's tonight's CBS Evening News. I'm Nora O'Donnell in Washington. I hope you have a safe Memorial Day weekend. We'll see you next week. Good night. County prepares to move into phase one of its reopening plan next week. We have reaction from public health leaders and Madison Mayor Sati Rhodes Conway. And the Madison Diocese announces plans to start in person mass a week from now. A priest walks us through the service to learn what safety precautions are being taken. This is News 3 Now at 6. Thank you for joining us. Dane County will enter phase one of its plan to reopen starting at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. The data is based on criteria that health officials are tracking in the forward Dane plan. Well, phase one includes reopening all businesses, including restaurants, gyms, and retail establishments at 25% capacity with physical distancing. We're meeting six of the nine benchmarks outlined in the forward Dane plan right now. That includes the percentage of tests that come back positive. Should be below 5% between May 5th and May 18th. We were at 1%. As far as criteria, we are not meeting. We are seeing an average of eight new cases a day to meet the county criteria. We want to be below four cases a day. Another is being able to conduct more than 800 tests a day. Right now, we're at 634. And finally, we don't have a low enough percentage of people who do not know where they could have gotten COVID-19. Right now, we're at 23% who don't know. But that number needs to be below 20%. To move into the next phase, we need to keep on the path that we're staying with and not have any reds pop up. Um, and so what that means is, you know, we need to keep our daily case count low. We need to keep the overall positivity rate low and we need to keep folks out of the hospital so that our health care settings can't be uh, won't be overwhelmed. Other things included in phase one, indoor gatherings at personal residences are allowed for groups of 10 or less. Outdoor gatherings are allowed for 50 or less. Park courts and fields will be open. But for all of those, public health officials say physical distancing needs to continue. Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes-Conway says she is so grateful to the Madison and Dane County community for doing such a good job preventing transmission. But she is stressing that we can't put our guard down. It is very important for people to understand this virus has not gone away, right? It's still out there. It's still possible to be transmitted uh, between people. And so if we want to continue to keep our numbers as good as they have been and keep on this path to fully reopening, we really do need people to follow the guidelines. We need people to be washing their hands, wearing face coverings when you're out. The mayor is also thankful that more businesses will open as we head into the summer. We'll share more of her reaction tonight on News 3 Now at 10. Grants for child care centers will soon be available here in Dane County. According to the county board chair, the county board unanimously approved a $3.5 million contract with the child care nonprofit 4C, which helps with child care across southern Wisconsin. They've also approved $150,000 for PPE. The county is looking for your feedback as well on how to spend federal money and better take care of its citizens during this time. If you have any ideas, email Email that email address at the bottom of your screen. It's engagedane at countyofdane.com. And across Wisconsin, we've surpassed 14,000 confirmed cases, 600 new cases today alone. Nine more people have died from complications for a total of 496 deaths. 58% of patients have fully recovered. And although the state Supreme Court struck down the governor's safer at home order last week, DHS officials continue to track the Badger bounce back plans, gating criteria. Today, only two criteria have been met. The percentage of tests that were positive today at 5.1%, and we're not seeing an overall decrease over a 14 day period.
The Diocese of Madison announced in-person mass will begin May 30th, along with restrictions to keep people safe. Our Gabriela Becerra joins us live to share what churchgoers can expect to be different. Gabby? Staff here at St. Thomas Aquinas Church are working quick to get all the safety measures in place before next week. Today, Father Bart Timmerman walked us through what a mass would look like during the coronavirus pandemic. When they come in, the doors will be already open, so nobody will be touching the doors. Upon entering, parishioners will use hand sanitizer and grab a mask if they don't already have one. Inside the church, you can see that we removed the uh, holy water, so we won't be able to bless ourselves with the holy water. They're also removing the hymnals, and there won't be any singing allowed. I think it's going to be a huge impact, saddening, because... I mean, when you sing, you pray. We're allowed to have 25% of our capacity. And so you can see in the pews, we pumped up every other pew so that um, people um, won't be sitting near each other. Markers on the ground will indicate for people to stand six feet apart in the line for communion. We'll be socially distanced as they come forward, and they have to use the hand sanitizer here. And they'll come forward and receive communion here. The minister will use hand sanitizer if touching someone in between turns. The sign of the peace won't happen and the church will ask people to leave quietly without visiting with others after mass. Something that Father Bart Timmerman says will be hard for his parishioners. It, it is difficult, you know, um, to to be separate and, and to not be able to come together for prayer and and it means so much to people and they really want to be here so it's been really difficult to stay away. Timmerman says a week is a quick turnaround to make these changes but they'll be ready to welcome people back. Difficult part for me is um, all the details of making sure that we have a safe and clean and healthy environment and that is the goal of what we're trying to accomplish. Bishop Donald Hying recommends that the elderly don't return to mass quite yet and encourages churches to continue live streaming their services. And St. Thomas here plans to continue to do just that. Gabby, thank you. Governor Evers has ordered flags to half staff for Memorial Day. He encouraged Wisconsinites to honor members of our armed forces who paid the ultimate sacrifice and extend gratitude to their families and loved ones. He also urged people to continue social distancing and to meet with friends and families virtually over the long weekend. Dane County Sheriff's Office reminding voters to make safety a priority this weekend Memorial Day, typically of course the official kickoff to the Wisconsin boating season. The Sheriff's Office will have several boats out patrolling our lakes and they ask people to always have a life jacket for everyone on board. Check your gas levels, batteries and lighting, have a sober driver of course and maintain social distancing. And only share a boat with members of your own household. Also DNR officials say state parks will resume normal hours starting tomorrow. Properties will be open 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. Most state parks have been operating with reduced hours as the state battles the pandemic here and the capacity limits will remain in place. Visitors won't have access to restrooms until June 3rd when a limited number of day use restrooms will reopen. All campsites remain closed through June 7th. So for whatever your plans might be this holiday weekend, let's check your first warm forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Gary? Well, the weather will certainly see more summer-like by the end of the Memorial Day weekend. There will also be some chances for showers and thunderstorms. Visible cloud track shows generally cloudy skies across Wisconsin today, but you can see during the afternoon there have been some breaks in the overcast. That's allowed a little sunshine to peek on through, but those clouds not bring any rain around here. There are some showers out to our west in Iowa and Nebraska. That's the next uh, chance of precipitation that'll be here late tonight. And tomorrow we could see some strong to isolated severe thunderstorms in the afternoon. So we have a, a uh, an alert day in the forecast. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms. I can't rule out a strong storm with hail, high wind, or even uh, heavy rain, or even an isolated tornado. Uh, temperatures right now, generally mid-60s to around 70 degrees. They'll drop into the middle 50s overnight with chances for showers by tomorrow morning. Look for a cloudy and mild day tomorrow with showers and some thunderstorms. High temperature at 71, but it'll be warmer for Sunday and Memorial Day Monday. I'll have more details on the weekend forecast in a few minutes. New CDC guidance shows the coronavirus spreads primarily from person to person and not easily from a contaminated surface. While you can still get the virus from touching a contaminated surface, experts say you're much more likely to get COVID-19 from being too close to others or not wearing a mask. New experiments show the virus could live on cardboard for 24 hours and on plastic or metal surfaces for up to three days. But the virus typically degrades within hours when there is no host. 
I think the the timing of this information is especially pertinent because as we look at um, different things starting to open, uh, there is um, appropriately so this strong focus on uh, businesses and establishments uh, practicing good disinfecting techniques. They're wiping down surfaces, they're keeping things clean. And that's important, uh, but I think it's important for uh, the, the community to know that um, uh, although disinfecting is important, that's not a primary mode of transfer. Dr. Potoff says physical distancing is the most important thing and reminds everyone that even if you are not experiencing symptoms, you could be carrying the virus and spreading the disease even just by talking to others. Republicans in the state legislature want Governor Evers to fix problems with the state's unemployment insurance office. Amy Reed is live from the Department of Workforce Development to explain what they want to see done. Amy. It's not that the Evers administration hasn't made changes to the department. They have, but from what lawmakers are hearing from their constituents, some don't think it's enough. Uh, it, it started off with, I think people were patient, but now it's got a point with serious frustration. And even I've had constituents calling um, in tears because hey, they have to pay their bills, they have to feed their kids. Representative John Nygren said his office is getting hundreds of calls a week from people sick of picking up the phone. This is the Number one, under underline, capitalize, the exclamation point. This is by far the number one issue we hear from constituents. Now he and his office are trying to get the governor to fix it, sending news release after news release and tweet after tweet. I've been a little bit more uh, engaged and heated on this over the last few days because what, what do I tell my constituents? You know, they're sick of excuses. They, they want a response, they want answers. And as their representative, that's my job to fight for them. Evers' team told us the governor and DWD are committed to working to get the people the benefits they've earned as quickly as possible. But training the hundreds they've hired or moved takes time. On top of more people, the unemployment office has expanded call hours by a few hours. Nigren believes more can be done, like making the call centers 24-7. Democrats have been critical of Nygren's critiques, citing the dozens of changes Republicans made to the system when they have full control of government. Democratic Senator Dave Hansen said this pandemic has exposed a system unable to keep up, but that Republicans built obstacles. To deny their role and the pain their changes are now causing thousands of Wisconsin workers is not only dishonest, but it is part of their willful effort to undermine Governor Evers and people's faith in their government. Nigren said it's poor leadership, not the reforms that are the issue. Back in 2014, during the Walker administrative, a Walker administration, a legislative committee approved an audit of the unemployment office because of similar issues, though not on a pandemic scale. Nigren said that if Republicans approved an audit in that situation, they'd likely approve one here. But he said that that would be months away. Amy Reed reporting live from Madison. I, Amy, thank you. Next at 6, experts say Madison's housing market has not slowed during the pandemic. And a local coffee shop is paying it forward with the help of a generous customer. Stay with us. Junk Garden Centers are open to help you create your beautiful garden. For a limited time, buy one, get one free, colorful packaged roses. Shop daily 10 to 4 at your local Junk Garden Center and get your growing season off to a safe and healthy start. Junk Garden Center. Get great Memorial Day savings on all your summer essentials at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Like Scott's Turf Builder Weed and Feed, only $45.99. Assorted small bags of miracle Grow potting mixes are just $9.99. And rewards members get a free $5 gift card when you spend $30 on miracle Grow products. To show our appreciation, this Friday through Sunday, we're giving active military personnel and veterans a 10% discount. Plus, buy online and pick up your items in our convenient drive-thru. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly swear that I will support the veterans of the United States Armed Forces. I will defend the Constitution against all enemies that I will commit to ensuring they are not forgotten. And I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And I will enable veterans to live the same life of opportunity they have provided me. So help me God.
Steinhoffels is the name you've trusted for over 85 years. We are taking all steps to keep you safe and sound. Come shop our large, wide-open showrooms during Steinhoffels Memorial Day sale. Right now, get 40 to 70% off on the largest selection of furniture, plus nothing down 60 months to pay financing. All living room, dining room, and bedroom furniture is on sale. Get amazing deals on all of our mattresses like Tempur-Pedic, Beautyrest, and Purple. Shop in-store or online today during Steinhoffels Memorial Day sale. Junk Garden Centers are open to help you create your beautiful garden. For a limited time, buy one, get one free, colorful packaged roses. Shop daily 10 to 4 at your local Junk Garden Center and get your growing season off to a safe and healthy start. Junk Garden Center. Welcome back. Across the country, housing sales are dropping off dramatically as many sellers pull their homes off the market despite mortgage rates hitting a near record low in April. But here in the Madison area, experts say we're seeing even seeing things even coronavirus hasn't slowed down. There just aren't enough homes on the market to go around. Our Amanda Quintana is here with what it all means. Amanda? Yes, well, nationally, existing home sales slid nearly 18% in April, and experts say there were a bunch of reasons why. Buyers couldn't go out and shop for homes that were worried about their employment future, and realtors couldn't stage or show homes because of stay-at-home orders. Chris Stark of Stark Realty says we're still seeing a lot of buyers in Madison, but they have less housing options to choose from because there's just not enough inventory. Sellers are holding their houses not putting them on the market right now. And we really chalk it up to potentially two things. I think one, it's going to be their comfort level. You know, are they going to be comfortable having people come through? And secondly, do they think the market might be better as time goes on? Um, and so I think those are the things that are holding them back. Stark says he expects to see a national rebound in the next couple of months. He expects many sellers to put their homes on the market in the near future. Here in Madison, agents are still pretty busy right now and still seeing a competitive market. National numbers show 41% of home sales ended in a bidding war in the four weeks before May 10th. The same time last year, only 9% of sales ended in a bidding war. Madison coffee shop Java Cat gave out dozens of free coffees today with the help of a customer who wanted to do something good. I have a, a customer named Jim who has been saving his full punch cards for maybe a year or so. And yesterday he gave them to me and he said, I just want to do something for people. You know, everybody's hurting right now and it's kind of lousy feeling and he just wanted to buy coffee for people. Very nice. Owner Renee Raspiller says she sees kindness like this in her drive through often with customers offering to purchase drinks for the person behind them. She says the neighbors in the area have been very generous during the pandemic. Java Cat does not plan to open its seating area next week because it is so small, so they're sticking to drive through service for now. Now more than ever, window displays are proving their importance for local shop owners. At Hilldale Mall, Twigs is paying tribute to what a lot of us are doing right Right now working from home looking professional from the waist up and being comfortable from the waist down strawberry picking season just around the corner we know a lot of people are still hesitant to go out to stores and restaurants but farms around the area are implementing additional safety measures even doing curbside pickup Ferger family farm in Lodi placing people in every other row while they're picking strawberries and make sure no one has to come even close to six feet from each other so there's something to do this summer when the weather cooperates. And Gary, will have a look at your forecast next. Stay with us. Experience handcrafted and hand-finished furniture by genuine Amish craftsmen at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Featuring hardwood made in the USA home furnishings by Simply Amish and other great brands you can trust. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Yeah, I'm a professional remodeler and I go to nuns. Why? Well, my clients love them because they have all those snazzy-looking countertops. You know, like beautiful marble countertops, stunning quartz slabs, you name it. To be honest, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, who needs all that glitz and glamour from a counter? But my clients love those snazzy-looking countertops, so we go to Nuns. Nuns. Kitchen, bath, and flooring. My bucket list is simple. When the time comes, I want to be at home with people who care how I live, not just how long. A Grace did that for my dad, and now I know a Grace will help me too. For almost 50 years, we've built trust within our communities by making customer delight our top priority. That trust allows us to improve lives one home at a time. 
During this challenging time, we want to make sure your needs are being met without stress by offering two-for-one windows with no interest and no payments for one year. So go ahead, visit us online, or call now from the comfort of home. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866-4-FELTCO. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection remains open to serve our customers and communities during these times of uncertainty. During Safer at Home, we've got you covered for all your plumbing service needs. Call us for help. We are here for you. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Here's a live look now at what would normally be a very busy travel weekend. This is in Columbia County on I-3990 at the Wisconsin River Bridge as fewer people than normal begin their extended weekend travel plans. Gary is here with a look at the forecast for this extended holiday weekend. Gary? Well, temperatures are still below normal today, but by the end of the weekend, they'll be above normal and feel much more summer-like with not only temperatures in the 80s, but we'll also see more humidity. And that will lead to some thunderstorm chances. Three things you need to know in the forecast tomorrow thunderstorms are likely, especially during the afternoon hours as a warm front moves through. Then on Sunday, will be mainly dry. Uh, the temperatures will get up into the lower 80s, getting some sunshine in here. Humidity levels will be up, but the best chances for showers and thunderstorms probably will arrive either late Sunday afternoon or more likely Sunday night, and even that, those uh, are not for certain. There will also be some scattered showers and thunderstorms on Monday Memorial Day, but there will be enough sunshine in there that we probably could see high temperatures topping out eh, perhaps in the middle 80s by then. So the Memorial Day weekend forecast calls for high of 71 tomorrow. The showers and thunderstorms coming through at the time of day where the uh, where the sun would normally warm us up to our maximum temperature. So that's why we're down a bit for tomorrow. But it's 82 for high on Sunday with sunshine or at least partly sunny skies and a chance for late afternoon thunderstorms and some scattered thunderstorms on Monday Memorial Day with high temperatures in the middle 80s. Doppler track right now pretty quiet around here. Some showers developing over southwestern Iowa and some thunderstorms back in Nebraska. That weather system will move northeastward and brings the threat for an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon uh, across far southern Wisconsin and much of northern Illinois. Storm Prediction Center has that marginal risk there. Hail, uh, a possibility up to the size of perhaps quarters. Uh, strong winds up to about 60 miles per hour. Can't even rule out an isolated tornado because there'll be enough uh, spin or uh, wind shear in the atmosphere, but any uh, storms that do develop should be uh, generally pretty brief and, and uh, should die down pretty quickly. Otherwise, look for uh, rainfall somewhere in the inch to inch and a half range generally across southern Wisconsin. Wisconsin through the Memorial Day weekend. There could be some higher amounts as well. As we look at future track, you can see those showers arriving late tonight and then showers and thunderstorms coming through tomorrow afternoon into early tomorrow evening. Those clear out and will be dry for much of tomorrow night and for much of the day Sunday, other than perhaps a thunderstorm in the afternoon or Sunday night. And then as we head into Monday Memorial Day, we'll see more thunderstorms popping up, but also plenty of dry hours in there as well. So we do have an alert day in the forecast for tomorrow for that isolated strong to severe thunderstorm chance, mainly during the afternoon hours. Once this weather system heads to the north and east, it'll actually uh, clear us out for Sunday, and then temperatures will warm up to a little more summer-like levels. So for tomorrow, look for a high of 71, showers and thunderstorms, especially during the afternoon and early evening hours. On future track, you can see during the morning some scattered showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. But here's that line of storms by about 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. By 10.30, the storm's already heading to the north and east, and perhaps bringing an inch to an inch and a half of rain over the Memorial Day weekend. Otherwise, temperatures will remain warm through the middle of next week with some thunderstorm chances. Toward the end of the week, we'll see a drop in temperatures and a lessening of the humidity, but still some pretty nice weather. And coming up in sports, Christian Kirksey's played in just nine games in the last two years due to injuries. While the Packers say he's a risk they're willing to take on defense. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today.
Through all the world events since 1936, Culligan Water has continued to provide better, safer water with our filtration systems for homes and businesses. These days, as a designated essential business, Culligan's water professionals are standing by ready to help. While there's no instruction manual for what we're all going through now, there is Christian and Natalie and all our other associates at Pick and Save, working with one of the country's biggest supply chains for the Kroger family of brands, keeping our promise that our shelves will be continually stocked and that you'll always have access to the things you need. Because together, we've got you covered. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, Slumberland's massive three-day doorbuster sale. 25% off most items. Get this gorgeous sectional for just $5.96. That price can't be beat. A Lazy Boy recliner for just $2.96. Our best-selling Adirondack chairs are back for just $1.88, our lowest price ever. Plus, free, safe doorstep shipping with no minimum. The three-day doorbuster sale at Slumberland Furniture. Getting your air ducts thoroughly cleaned takes the trained professionals at Stanley Steamer using the most powerful equipment to get the most powerful results. Our equipment goes deep inside your ducts, removing years of dirt, pet hair, allergens, even dust mites. Unlike other air duct cleaning companies, Stanley Steamer cleans your entire system. Just look at how much dirt can be removed. Call today for a free inspection and save $50 on a cleaning. Stanley Steamer gets your home. This week, you're going to get more at the Brothers Made Memorial Day Super Sale. Get in now with more savings on more brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. Right now, improving your home is more convenient at Maine with up to 18-month 0% financing. And we make getting more easy with expert delivery free and our risk-free 30-day price and satisfaction guarantee. The Memorial Day Super Sale for more selection, more savings, and more satisfaction. It all ends Monday at the Brothers Made, your local store for more since 1938. The warmest weekend of the year is on its way, and so are several storm chances. Plus, Will Loper is sharing his picks for three days indoors. Join us Saturday morning at 5 and 8. The Packers hit the jackpot when it comes to free agent signings when they added the Smiths on defense. This year, they picked up Christian Kirksey. What they're getting with him, experience. Kirksey was a five-year starter with the Browns, racking up nearly 500 tackles and 11 and a half sacks in six seasons. Now, there is some risk with him. He's been bitten by the injury bug and has been placed on ER each of the last two years. But it's a risk the Packers are willing to roll with. I just think it was a... It was a great signing for us for, for a lot of reasons. I mean, we're not just bringing a, a really good player into the room. I mean, this is a guy that's got great leadership ability. Uh, he already has a, ha, has a head start on, on learning the system. Uh, certainly, it's a, it's a risk when you look at it, uh, but certainly it was, it was a risk that we were more than, uh, more than willing to take. So, like I said, we're, we're excited about it. On the other side of the ball, the Packers are in year two of Matt LaFleur and Nathaniel Hackett's offense. So unlike last season, there isn't a feeling out process or a learning curve for Aaron Rodgers and the coaching staff. They know how to work with each other. So year two in the system should go much smoother. The conversations are so much different. I mean, now we all know each other. So uh, knowing each other and working together is a lot different than first time. Hi, I'm Nathaniel and hey, this is Aaron. And, Matt and just kind of thrown in a room and trying to get it to work. So I think that just going through a season together, you always can advance. Last month, Brendan Bailey put his name in the NBA draft, and today the Marquette forward announced he's keeping it there and will turn pro. Bailey, who's coming off a sophomore season where he averaged seven points and five rebounds, is not projected to be taken in the NBA draft. And the Wisconsin women's basketball team has picked up another commitment for its 2021 class. This afternoon, Sasha Vanderpool announced on Twitter she's coming to Madison. And it's basically home for the Minnesota native. Her dad, grandparents, great-grandparents, and sister 
all went to UW. So if she did go there, mm -hmm. she might be the black sheep of the family, <laughs> right? Uh, well, you know, I guess there's a lot of pressure there, right? <laughs> there is. Yeah. All right. Gary's here for the final check of your forecast. Well, tomorrow look for some showers and thunderstorms during the day. High temperature at 71. Sunday, look for high of 82 with the best chances for thunderstorms late in the day or at night. We'll see some scattered thunderstorms on Memorial Day with highs in the mid-80s. Temperatures will stay warm through the middle of next week. All right, Gary, thanks. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Have a great evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.